You see, this is why I hate filming YouTube videos in summer because I have to have my windows closed because I'm on a main road. I'm sat in front of two soft boxes and there's no ventilation and I'm literally feeling like the Wicked Witch of the West right now. And hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. So on the 28th of June, it was my birthday and I turned 24. That sentence alone just terrifies me. I am 24. But the good thing about turning 24 is it's your birthday and you get presents and you get to do nice things. So today I'm gonna to be doing a what I got for my birthday for 2018 because you guys love these kind of videos. I like watching them myself so I thought hey I will get all my stuff together that I've got for my birthday and I'll show you guys what I got for my birthday. On the actual day of my birthday I went with my mum to the Bee Bakery bus tour that goes around London so basically it's a really cute revamped vintage bus and it takes you around all the sites of London and you have afternoon tea and it's really fun and I really enjoyed that and I had a great time and the food was absolutely amazing and they give you these really cool keep cups to have afterwards you basically have your tea in, or your hot drink in this on the actual bus but then you get to keep the cup afterwards so I thought it was really nice and it's this really cute kind of cartoon scene of London and the red bus and it's just really cute and I love it and then I also went to see a comedy about a bank robbery with my friend Rochelle and we had cocktails which was really lovely and then I also went to the Piggy Pusheen cafe with my auntie as well which was really fun so I had a really nice birthday week I did some really nice things and I got some really lovely gifts I was very spoilt this year so I'm going to get straight on into this because I am literally starting to melt already and I haven't even shown you anything first thing I want to show you that I got for my birthday is something that I kind of bought my Myself slash also got bought for by my dad because he gave me money for this so it is the iPad Pro and it's the 10.5 inch it's rose gold of course and I also have the pen to go with it now the reason I wanted to get the iPad Pro is because I really wanted to try out all the cool drawing features on it and all the apps that you can use on the Pro for drawing and graphics and design and creation I used to be an avid drawer I used to absolutely love wildlife drawing I actually used to draw a lot of big cats one of my pieces of work actually got displayed in the Tate Modern when there was an exhibition on visually impaired young artists and my school was exhibited there and I was one of the students who got put in that a whole exhibition which was really cool so I used to be a pretty decent drawer if I do say so myself and I just completely stopped doing it after a few years and I haven't really revisited it since I was a very young teenager but now I have this I'm able to actually get back into drawing and I've been really enjoying it it's very cathartic to be able to just sit down and draw something and listen to an audiobook I've been really enjoying doing that so I'm so happy I finally have this I've been saving for this for ages but then on my birthday my dad also surprised me with some money because he knew I wanted to get the iPad so I was able to go out and buy it the day after my birthday which I'm very happy about because it's just awesome and it's amazing so that was the first birthday present I got from myself slash from my dad so very happy about that now I want to move on to what my friend Rochelle got me so Rochelle really surprised me she got me this wicker bag which I absolutely love it's like this really nice flat round wicker bag in this kind of light colour and it's got these long handles and it's a tie up drawstring closure but I thought this was so lovely and I absolutely love wicker bags I'm obsessed with them I've got quite a nice collection now and I always like having new ones because I really like using them in the summer and it's quite a nice size as well so I'm really chuffed about that and I can't wait to start using that. She also got me a shower gel from Lush and it's one of the exclusive shower gels that they had on the kitchen because we both actually work at Lush, we are work colleagues and she got me this one which is called the Calacas, I think it's pronounced, Calacas shower gel and it says here that it's got lime oil in it and she said she got me this one because she knows I like lime oil and I like the smell of the Monsters Ball bath bomb that Lush has sometimes at Halloween. And literally, it actually smells like Monsters Ball bath bomb. So that was a really good call, Rochelle. And it smells amazing. And I literally can't wait to just lather myself in this. I think after I finish filming this video, I'm going to have a cold shower and just be like, 
smothering myself in this because it just smells so good. And then the other thing she got me was a scented candle because again she knows me so well and she knows I love my scented candles. And this is the Whiskey Toback candle and it has sweet tobacco in there and whiskey and it's got kind of like a berryish sweet smell. I'm probably going to save this one for the autumn time because to me it's more, more like an autumnal candle but it's absolutely huge and it's really really pretty. It's in this black kind of design and it's got this really sleek white print on the front and I just think it's so pretty and I can't wait to start burning this when it gets a little bit cooler although I'm not willing it to get cooler even though I'm melting right now I am actually enjoying the sun but when it does get a bit cooler I will definitely be cracking this out because it smells gorgeous so thank you very much Rochelle those presents were lovely and I had a lovely night with Rochelle enjoying a picture of strawberry daiquiri in Chiquitos my kind of night. Now I'll move on to what my auntie Charlotte got me. She took me to the Peggy Pushing Cafe in Chelsea, which was absolutely lovely. I will add a picture now that's on my Instagram of me wearing this dress and my straw broter hat, standing outside the beautiful flower strewn front of the shop. It's beautiful. And then we went, had a look around Chelsea, which was very nice, and she bought me some presents. So the first thing that she bought me, which I actually really wanted, is the second Harry Potter illustrated book. So these are the books that are illustrated by Jim Kay. I have the third one that I got for Christmas from my nan, and she got me the second one because I actually have the first one from my mum that she got me for my birthday as well. So now I have the current collection, all the ones that they do. And I mean, the illustrations in this are just beautiful. They're just so, so lovely. And it's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous book and it's just such a nice way to revisit Harry Potter so I am very happy to have this one in my collection now and I can reread Harry Potter and look at illustrations and I'm really really happy to have that and then she also got me a little something from Neom which I was very happy about because I do love Neom scented candles in particular and she got me the secret to calm and relax candle and this one has notes of ylang ylang and frankincense it's a very relaxing scented candle and i just love the smell of this one and they are very holistic smelling and these are really nice to use in the evening if you want something that's really going to help you just unwind and relax now moving on to what my nan and granddad got me now i love bees i'm a very big lover of bee themed things and i've really been looking for some nice bee themed jewelry and I think my mum gave my nanny red a little tip off because I discovered on my birthday I have this Bill Skinner piece of jewellery. So this is the little ring. It's this really cute bee ring. The actual band of the ring has been made to look like a little honeycomb. And then the bee is kind of sat on top of it and it's gold and it's just so pretty. Let me just put this on to show you. That's what it looks like. But it's literally the cutest thing ever. And I love bees and I think this is just so pretty, it's really dainty and it just looks lovely on and I've been absolutely obsessed with this, I've worn it quite a few times already and I just really like the way it looks. So that's what my nan and granddad got me and I was delighted to have that so thank you very much nan and granddad. Now moving on to what my nan got me, I have been really wanting a vintage themed suitcase for my room as display which sounds really weird but I really love old style vintage suitcases and I found out on my birthday that my nan had surprised me and got me one so this is what it looks like it's from Sasson Bell and I absolutely love Sasson Bell which I was very happy about and it's this vintage world map suitcase so it's got this print of the world map on there and it has this kind of like tan detailing like this wooden-esque effect detailing to these panels that go down the middle and to the handle as well and it's just so so cute i mean it's quite small so i mean let's be real i don't think any of us could use this as an actual suitcase to go traveling in i mean maybe if you were going for like a night and you traveled really light but even then i don't think i'd be able to fit all my stuff in there but it is really cute and i'll definitely be using this for display in my room and even maybe putting some of my things in there like my scarves and just using it for instagram pictures and i just think it's really cute and i just absolutely love it i think it's so so pretty and it makes me very happy so thank you very much nan you have fulfilled my wish and now i finally have a vintage suitcase because that's how random i am <laughs> okay so now i'm going to move on to what my mum and dad got me well i mean i say my mum and dad but we all know that this is my mum who goes out and picks this and wraps it and 
does all that sort of thing. So I say my mum and dad, but I think we all know that it's my mum. <laughs> But anyway, so I'll move on to what they got me. So one of the first things that I discovered, which I was really, really excited about, is this Cambridge satchel. I love Cambridge satchels. I've got three of them already, and I haven't bought a new one for quite a few years now. And my mum found this one. I think she said she got it on the Transport for London website, because it's the one that's been designed in collaboration with Transport for London. It's in this really cute small design it's quite a petite size but now that i'm not at university i don't need to buy the really big ones because i don't need to always have my laptop in there so it's just nice to have a smaller one for when i don't need as much stuff with me and it's got the transport for london logo on it the tube logo and then you open it and it's got the tube map on the inside which i thought was just the cutest thing ever i mean it's quite small so i don't think i'd be able to read it as a tube map but I just love the attention to detail in there and I just love how cute that is and that just makes me so happy because I'm a London girl, I love Cambridge satchels and I just love the colour and it kind of goes with my dress actually doesn't it? It's a good call there, she actually chose the colour pretty well because I just love this kind of mustardy yellow colour. I mean it's not quite mustard, it's a little bit lighter than that but it's just really cute and I just love it so I can't wait to start wearing this and I'm very happy about that. Next up, my mum also got me a nice little selection of candles because you know how I love my candles. So she got me two from Yankee Candles. The first one she got me is the Yankee Candle in the scent Sea Air. I absolutely love this scent. I actually got this for my mum for her birthday and I was saying how much I liked it. And I think she must have remembered because she also bought me this for my birthday. It just smells so fresh and clean and just very natural, it's not like a really strong in your face, like really kind of perfumey scent, it's really subtle but it just smells really fresh and it's just a nice kind of coastally scented candle and I just love the smell of it, I just think it's nice for the summertime and it's just for me the sort of candle I love to smell around this time of the year. She got me that one and then she also got me another one which is in the scent Driftwood, this is a little size and this one it smells really sweet actually, it's got kind of a woody undertone to it, but it's also really sweet as well. I just love the smell of this one and I just really like how she's gone with a kind of like coastal vibe scented theme here. And then the other candle that she got me is the True Grace Cucumber Scented Candle, which is my all time favourite smell for the summer. It literally does smell like that smell when you first cut into a cucumber and it just smells really fresh. It literally just smells like a cucumber. My mum also got me a new record for my record player. I've got a little collection of records at the moment and I'm just trying to add to them as I go. And she got me the Lion King record. Now, the only thing that I'm a bit annoyed about is it doesn't actually come in a sleeve, it just comes like this, but I think the actual artwork itself is on the actual record and you flip it over and it's a two-sided record. I absolutely love The Lion King. It's my favorite film, as you know, and I love the soundtrack and I, literally have no shame i'm going to play this and i'm going to sing along to all the songs the next thing that my mum got me for my birthday is actually something that she made herself which i thought was so cool and it's this framed picture and basically it's pressed flowers that she's made into the letter e and i just think this is so pretty when i saw it i was like wow where did you get that and she was like i made it and i was like really that is so good i mean she does do a lot of things anyway she's got an etsy store and she does pyrography but She's just so talented and I just thought this was so, so pretty and I absolutely love it. I can't wait to hang this up somewhere in my room and I just think it's so lovely and I'm really proud of my mum for her creativity. I think she's so creative and I don't think she gives herself nearly the amount of credit that she deserves. So I'll link her Etsy store down below. I mean, if you want to go and check it out, feel free to, but I just think she's so, so talented and I think, you know, she made this herself. That is just incredible that is so cool the next thing that i got from birthday from my parents is this little white vase and it's in the shape of a dslr camera i just think this is the cutest thing i've ever seen and it's just so up my alley it's just literally the most me thing ever and i just love it although i think you could also use it to put like your brushes in or your pencils my mum really nailed it with this one because that's just literally me to a t so i'm really 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 chuffed with that one. My mum also surprised me on my birthday with a new piece of jewellery from Soru. 
I love Soru Jewelry. They're one of my favourite jewellery brands. The ring I've actually got on now, the one I always wear, this is from Soru. And I've got a few other pieces from Soru, but I really, really wanted this particular piece and she got it for my birthday. So let me show you guys. I saw it on the website a while ago and I was just like, oh my god, I really want that. It's this beautiful star pendant on this lovely gold chain. And the star itself has this blue gemstone in the middle because all of Soru's jewellery is made out of gemstones and it has all these little crystals on the outside in this kind of greyish colour but I just think this is so pretty I absolutely love stars and kind of star jewellery and I just think this will look so lovely with loads of my different outfits because I wear a lot of blue and this will just really go with so many of my outfits so I'm so happy to finally have this piece because I've been wanting it for a while and my mum surprised me with this on my birthday which I was so happy about so I'm really 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 happy about that thank you so much for that mum slash dad but yeah mostly mum to continue on with this star theme actually she also got me another piece of jewellery and this one she said was from not on the high street and it's this really pretty bangle which is in this bluish purple night sky colour and it has all these lovely constellations painted on it. It's actually hand painted and it's in gra oh god. And it's engraved on the inside and it says the day our brightest star was born, shine bright always, 28th of the 6th, 1994, because that's when I was born, and I just thought that was so pretty, and just something really lovely. I like having personalised things, and I just think that's really nice that she kind of went with a little bit of a theme here. I just thought it was so cute. The last piece of jewellery I actually got for my birthday is this really cute set of bee earrings. These were from Not On The High Street, and I've actually seen these. I've actually picked these myself because I said to my mum, the one thing I really want for my birthday is some bee stud earrings, and I actually picked these myself. They are these really dainty little gold bee stud earrings, but then the actual wings are in this kind of silver material, and I just thought that they were so, so pretty, and they're just really dainty, and I just think they're just so, so pretty. My mum also got me something from the brand Bombay Duck, which I actually haven't heard about until recently. It's this really cute little teacup and saucer in this pink colour with this gold detailing and the letter E on it. And I just think this is really, really sweet, really cute. And I do like having a quite a large collection of teacups. I mean, to be honest, I have got so many teacups, I probably don't need any more, but what's one more to add to the collection? And just look how cute it is. To continue on with the star theme, my parents slash mum also got me this really lovely journal. It's in this blue colour and it has all of the constellations in gold detailed on the front and it has the words, it is written in the stars also on the front in gold and then you open it up and it's got lines in there and you can date it and put your subject in there and I just love journals, I love pretty notepads and I just thought this one was so so pretty and I actually had seen it a while ago on Lisa Angel and I really, really wanted it and Mum bought it for me. So very happy to have another one to add to my collection and I just think this is just so cute. I mean, look at it, it's just, I'm just going to stroke it because it's just beautiful. So I actually didn't ask for any makeup this year, but my mum actually did surprise me with a few makeup pieces. The first thing that I got is this palette and it's from the brand... Nabla, never heard of it before and it's called the Dreamy Eyeshadow Palette and it just looks so beautiful. It has all these really stunning pink and rose gold and purpley shades in here. It's just absolutely gorgeous and I mean I just love the aesthetic of it. The actual packaging itself is like this really dark constellation starry night packaging. It's so so beautiful and the gold detailing on the front is to die for and the colours are so me. Usually my mum only gets the makeup that I ask for but she surprised me by choosing some things for me and I think she did very very well there. And then she also got me another palette. She got me the Urban Decay Beached Eyeshadow Palette. Now I actually had seen this on Instagram and I really really wanted to get it and I've been saying oh this looks really pretty so I guess I was kind of hinting for it but I wasn't expecting another palette because she always says that you've got so many palettes, but 
she bought it for me in the end and this is what it looks like it has all these really beautiful colors you've got quite a few golds and like ambery colors and you've also got these lovely blues as well it's a really nice collection of colors in this palette and i think it's so nice for the summertime i think every single shade in here I would wear there's not one shade with this palette that I wouldn't wear I'm very happy to have that because actually I was going to go and buy this for myself but my mum bought it for me for my birthday so that was really really lovely so thank you very very much mum and then my mum actually also bought me something when we were out in London so we went to Charlotte Tilbury because I mean did you honestly think you would get away with a what I got for my birthday video without me having something from Charlotte Tilbury and she got me a new lipstick because I'm collecting lipsticks and I've got one more to get before I've got a full hatch of lipsticks in my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick holder because I'm that vain. And she got me this one which is called Duchess. Duchess is like a really nice tea rose pink. It's really, really pretty. It's a very kind of vintage pink and I tried it on in the shop and I was like, yes, this is the one I want. I love this colour and she got this one for me so I'm very happy to have this one to add to my collection. I got these really lovely fluffy light blue slippers which I am so excited to put on because they feel so cosy and snuggly and comfy and I just think they're just so so pretty. And then she also got me these pyjamas which I was dying over when I saw them on my birthday and they are blue and it has seagulls and shells on them and I just thought they were the cutest things ever. I was like, oh my god, they are just so adorable. And then lastly, from my parents for my birthday, my mum went out and actually picked me some new clothes. Um, quite a few things from the Zara sale. The first thing I'm actually wearing right now, which I have the picture of on in my Instagram, it's this really pretty mustard coloured dress with this embroidered on glaze detailing to it and then she also got me a couple of other things from the Zara sale she got me this really cute little blue and white top and it has these really lovely little cap sleeves with this kind of like scalloped edging to them and it's in this kind of very fine striped print you've also got the scalloped detailing to the neckline and then you've got this lace floral detailing to the sides and then there's kind of like panelled detailing to the middle and I just think it's so pretty and cute and I love anything blue. Blue is my favourite colour and I just think this is so pretty and really nice to wear for the summertime. And then she also got me this really beautiful dress. It's white and it has this embroidered on glaze detailing to the top and also to the skirt. The waist is quite nipped in and it buttons up at the back. So I thought that was really, really flattering. It's sleeveless, but the actual kind of sleeves that you have, have this kind of like ruching on them, really, really cute. And I just thought this was so pretty and I really can't wait to wear this. I just think it's the most adorable dress I've ever seen. And then she also got me this other dress. This was from H&M and it's this yellow and white striped dress. It has these little cap sleeves on them and it has this little elasticated waist and it's just really simple and cute and I've actually got one of these in blue and white and it's a really comfortable fit and it just looks really nice on so I really like the fact that she got me the yellow I think she got me the yellow to match my Cambridge satchel so I thought that was a really good call there and it would just be nice to wear on a hot day it's just like a nice little casual outfit with some converse and then the last two pieces of clothing that she got me were from a company called the Literary Emporium, which are available on, not on the high street. The first thing she got me from the Literary Emporium is this t-shirt. It's white and it says, votes for women on the front. And the votes for women is actually a sign that these two suffragettes are holding. And it's like a little cartoon depiction of them in black and white. And I thought that was so, so, so cute. And I really love this. And I'm very happy to wear this with pride to celebrate the fact that I, as a woman, have the right to vote. And then the other thing that she got me from the Literary Emporium is this jumper. And it's grey and it has this black cameo silhouette on the front. And it's supposed to be of Jane Eyre. And it has this like, kind of bird and vine detailing to it. And it says, I am no bird and no net ensnares me. And at the bottom it says, Charlotte Bronte, Jane Eyre and I love that because Jane Eyre is actually one of my favourite classic books and I just think that's so pretty and it's just really me. I like literary themed 
things. I like wearing things that have quotes on them. I mean, it's probably a little bit too hot to wear this at the moment because it is so hot outside, but when it gets a bit cooler, I will definitely be wearing this and I just think it just looks so, so cool and I'm really, 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 really happy with that. So that concludes my what I got for my birthday for 2018. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's given you some ideas of things that you could get for someone in your life if they've got a birthday coming up or maybe if you've got a birthday coming up yourself. And also guys, let me know in the comments how you guys are getting on because I feel like I haven't been on YouTube for a while and I want to know how you guys are doing. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!